Yo, baby, we are officially live. What's cracking, y'all? It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ooh -wee. It is Wednesday. We're halfway through the week, pretty much. And today we're going to be playing Alone in the Dark. I've been playing a lot of horror games recently, but I've of course been doing them like off stream, uploading them as regular videos. And today we're actually going to be streaming a horror game. I feel like we haven't streamed a horror single player game in a minute. We've of course been playing Dead by Daylight, The Outlast Trials, but nothing single player. And we're going to be diving into that tonight. Yo, what up, Joker? I see you in the chat. How you been, man? Haven't seen you in a little bit. That Final Fantasy Rebirth has been keeping you busy. <clears throat> nice. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Back here again. Going to continue the grind. Try something new. See how this goes. I appreciate the likes on the stream. Y'all already at four likes. Whew. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You've been playing trials into the zero. Now I haven't heard of that one. I think it's a detective show. A detective game. Now, I've never heard of it. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you've been busy. Did you end up finishing uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth? Or are you still like in the mix of playing that and playing some other stuff? Mixing it up in the mix. Nice. It's always good to be playing a couple games, you know, not just sticking to one, maybe two or three. Yo, what up, Earths? What's cracking, my dude? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. <clears throat> Glad you can make it. guys ready to see what this alone in the dark is all about i've been seeing some mixed reviews on it <clears throat> i mean no, no, nothing like bad bad like saying the game is bad or anything like that more or so of like it's good but it had so much potential to be better so of course Always take reviews with a grain of salt, play the game and judge it for yourself, which of course we are going to be doing. This is one that I've been looking forward to. So let's see how it is for ourselves. Yup. He is Joker David Harbour. Set your heart ablaze. He sure is. Overcome your limits. Yo, Earths. With the $2 super chat ticket for the horror stream. Let's go, baby. Appreciate it. I love that. Dun, dun, dun. Glad you guys can make it. Hopefully you guys, you got your snacks, your water, your teas, whatever the case is. How's that uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth going for you, Erds? Still tackling it little by little?
<clears throat> Can I see the achievements through here? Whatever it takes, kill a monster with an opportunity. Whatever that means. Kill an enemy with fire. Kill a monster with a melee weapon. Okay. Look simple enough. Oh, you saw the gameplay for that one? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like games like that, that like they put you into that world of like, uh, I don't know what you would call them, a mortician. And you get to like see like the tools and like what you got to do. I like what I like when games do that. Something different and it, it freaking definitely makes sense. A uh, morgue and a horror game. <laughs> And I like that it has different endings, so every run is going to be different. But yeah, man, check it out. It's, they have it on the Switch. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, it's going to be one of those games that, you know, just take your time, enjoy it. <clears throat> Luckily, we don't have, like, nothing too crazy coming out, like, in between. So, you have time to be enjoying that and whatever else in between. But yeah, it's pretty cool that they're actually working on the new Paranormal Activity game. So they did a really solid job with the Mor Mortuary Assistant. Mortuary. That's a, that's, a, that's a tongue twister name, man. That is a tongue twister. Am I going to play Rise of the Ronin Joker? Nah, I don't think so, man. I might skip out on that one. I think this is going to be the my game of this month. Dragon Dogma looks interesting. Rise of the Ronin looks pretty cool too, but I don't know. They're not really like grabbing me like, hell yeah, I want to play that. Or just like whatever's about them. I'm hearing a lot of good things about Dragon's Dogma, but nah. I'll just play this. I got some other stuff that I do want to play to catch up on. And then we'll see what cracks for it next month. <clears throat> I know uh, in April, the big game for April is going to be a Stellar Blade. So I, I want to play that one. That one comes out towards the end of April. I think that's going to be the big game for April. So that'll be that game for next month. Why do you plan to uh, play Rise of the Ronin Joker? Let's load this puppy up. <clears throat> that, 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 I forgot, I always forget her name. The actress that's playing with David Harbour on this one. The model kind of looks like when I first saw her, I thought it was going to be Emily Blunt. It just kind of looks like Emily Blunt. All right. Contrast. Tune. Always like it a little brighter. There 
go. Now, now let's go check our options over here. You always you know we always got to do this. Camera shake scale. Put that at 50. Controller vibration. Just rendering settings for forever improved frame rate or higher than resolution. Quality. You know we want performance. Field of view, uh, I'm gonna go 90. Motion blur, um we'll go off. Never really like the motion blur. Let's save. set yeah i did joker it looks looks pretty good man a lot of people are comparing it to alien isolation which i really hope it goes that kind of route more like the original keep it more horror And I'm glad that it's going to theaters because I know when they before they started shooting the movie, I think it was going to be a, a, a series. But I saw that they said that once they started shooting the movie, they're like, nope, this is going to go straight to theaters. So, hey, that, that that's saying some already. So <clears throat> looking forward to it, looking forward to that one. ready to officially start just gonna go live over there on the shorts side guys here we are this is gonna be our playthrough of alone in the dark let's see how this goes i'm gonna go standard what is this difficulty guidance modern extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier including hints and helpful highlights old school for those who want to figure out everything for themselves no extra systems to guide the player old school the difficulty can be switched to the options menu all right it can be switched i'm gonna go old school if we get stuck in a puzzle for too long or something then we'll switch back Ooh. gator got him Got himself a snack. He's over in alone in the dark. Straightforward, huh? Straightforward, just like so, that. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. 
As in the devil? Hmm. Exorcism? Like he says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? She's not a believer? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray nice old school hot rod. Figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Cult? Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Carnby. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. We're going to the spooky mansion straight up. At least I think we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I'll bust a cap in on, no, on no. his ass. Let's just <laughs> find him first. Choose a character. Oh, we got to choose a character right here, huh? <clears throat> I wonder if it's going to be switching between the story or you're sticking with them the whole campaign. Questions and decisions. Should I go with Edward Carnby, a.k.a. David Harbour? Actually, gives her a name. That's her name, Jody Comer. Emily Hartwood. Pretty cool. I think we'll start off with the homeboy, David Harbour. Hopefully, uh, maybe we switch between them throughout the story. Game looks good. Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Splitting up. Splitting up already, huh? <sighs> Chapter one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we are officially playing Alone in the Dark. All right, sensitivity feels pretty solid. Objective, look for a way inside the house. Another clean hot rod over here. All right. What is that? Is that like a sneak mode? got a dash I guess to evade I see the controls here was this no what do we got here a 
Light? Nice, flashlight. Kitchen garden key. Hmm. Press R to switch flashlight on. Nice. The game definitely looks really good, man. Yo, what up, Tommy girl? Welcome to the stream, son. Don't I ever get tired of horror? Never, son. <clears throat> I guess you do because you get scared, huh? Got the key. Nice. Like in the environments so far. What the hell was that? Can I crouch? There's no crouch. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Chain door, of course. We're going to need some bolt cutters. <clears throat> so, so then live a little, Tommy girl. That's why you're always bored. Live a little, son. Did you already start creating your Steam account and all that stuff? Crime Noir vibes? Yeah, huh? It's gonna be that mixed with horror? Whoa! Whoa. Ooh, what the hell is this tree? Big tree to fit inside the, observatory. the tree of death. I'm calling it right now. Housekeeper's keys. What the hell are these things doing right here? You guys hear that? I hear voices coming from this tree. I called it. <clears throat> Come on, son. I mean, you can, you can already make your Steam account. Doesn't mean you need to buy the game already. Just create your account already, dude. Have all that set up. Start browsing, start getting familiar with the layout and all that. Come on, man, you gotta think ahead. Yo, what up, Moses? Welcome to the stream. See you over there chilling in the shorts chat. Found some bullets, nice. See? I saw you guys, you guys got a look around don't want to miss anything and i think ammo is going to be pretty scarce in this game can't go that way all right cool well we found ammo that's good nice welcome to Dersetto. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far, man. Don't mind if I do. A drink. Is that gonna be how we get health? Take a sip. What do we got over here? Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. Hmm. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. Sacred sand and black I have started oil, to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path Yo, what up, Manny? Where you at, Disagree. It's cracking. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical uh -oh. of that Caribbean cult. Practicing voodoo? It's been of good use to me. 
It seems all Somebody's gonna be practicing on that witchcraft. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles. Ooh, more ammo. Nice. Couple things here. Take that. I hear some scuffering on top. Ooh, what we got here? Somebody was getting ready to make some dinner? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Oh, was that ham? That looks like ham. I like me some ham. Bread? Mm mm mm. That is ham. Take that. Damn, you got the meat house over here. You got the oinkers. Rat poison. Objectives. Hmm, what is this? Is the rat of 15? Are these like collectibles? Vagabonds. A go without horns. A great depression. Forbidden knowledge. Interesting. Desetto, the old plan. <laughs> what was that? Are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Complete sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. All right. Carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of. Oh. So there's like the re replayability right there. I'm gonna come back and play with her. All right. Conchitas. <laughs> uh, do you want an oinker for a daughter? Uh, where's that from? It sounds so familiar. Do you want an oinker for a daughter? Oh man, I'm. Uh... She's. I know it's, she's on a. She says she's on a diet. Is it Halloween, the original? Nah. You want an oinky for a daughter? It sounds so familiar. Oh, yes, there. Yep, there it is. I was close. Halloween franchise. <clears throat> oh, so we got the key, huh? Oh, we can go that way now. Go all the way back. <sighs> we unlocked that and went down there. Here's it. <clears throat> there has to be something that I missed here. Came 
into this room. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, how did we miss this door? Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Like when they include. Uh, that doesn't look safe. Uh, I like when they include voice acting, even with the freaking diary notes. Mm. So we got a puzzle here, huh? Oh, do we, do we need the other pieces? I can't move. I think we need to find the other pieces. One bullet. Whoa. What's that? Library, we need a key. I need the key. Another mm. key. I need the key. No more locked doors. All right, we'll check out over here. Dersetto floor plans. We got a map. We got a map. Explored. Completed. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. It lets us know that it's completed so we don't have to waste time in going back. I like that. I like that. We got a key. Okay. Lock the medicine box. Take that. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared <clears throat> that he would do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her. But the company didn't send a new key this time around. So the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. <clears throat> Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hold to open the map. Map is updated with information. Cool. I need the key. Not for that one. There we go. up here it's wedge shut wedge door mm, looks important another locked door another locked door That's broken, so we can probably cross over there. Oh. We in the house? Hmm. I need the key. A lot of locked doors, man.
The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods Ooh. in an act to protect American it's labor. It's a lot. Rubber stamp. Nice. Anybody here? I need the key. This way. Oh. Thanks. Let her in. What are you doing? Who are you? Now your business. Why didn't you open the damn me. door? My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to call We just got here and y'all looking sketchy let us already. See the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here. And we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? Uh-oh. I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Hmm. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. David Harbour not giving no crap. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Cool. Yeah, I'm liking it pretty. I like. I'm liking it too. Or Earth's pretty cool so far. Locked box. Yeah, we need another. Got anything? Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. Quite the artist, your uncle. Too Painting, many sculptures. I don't know much about modern art, but he seems dedicated. Jeremy is a fairly well-known landscape painter in New Orleans. You've probably seen more of his work than you realize. Yo, what up, Dagner? Was cracking, man. Welcome to the stream. We should go talk to the doctor that the housekeeper mentioned. Dr. Gray? I suppose. Let's just do a little more digging first, okay? Sure. No rush. That's all the dialogue. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Can uh, a lot of stuff to read. Ooh, we got a tile. 
He painted wooden towel. The motive suggests this being part of a larger picture. No kidding. That definitely doesn't go there. Can we shift them now? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. I know that goes there for a fact. Easy, baby. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Might come in handy later. I want to kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. got there oh wow whoa that's striking i want to save this one kind of oh. kind of looks like william defoe <laughs> hey, a little bit. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Uh oh. Emily? You tripping? Investigate the corner store. <laughs> the corner store. There's bullets. I'm gonna assume that he's probably dreaming. There's a creature over there. Let's the shooting begin. <laughs> the hell? Ah. Oh shit! Yeah. I just came out of the damn corner and struck my ass. Where'd the other one go? Better not be playing no sneaky games on me. All right. Can't go that way. Take that. All right. Oh yeah, I'll take all the bullets I can get. What the hell is going on? Take that. Oh. 
I hope I, will, I hope I can go back outside. I wasn't done. Don't let them get inside our compound. They're not the good kind. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? Pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh yeah? How much you paying you? Hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, Compare? No, no, no. Hundred and fifty bucks, huh? You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in the way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Got a key. Nice. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. And then there are two belonging to their set to one for the clerk's office. Oh, wait, one for the library. Find Miss Jackson's place to earn more about Jeremy's situation. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Nothing. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie Batiste. I'm alright if you see it. Alright, I'm heading out. Be careful out there. Nothing else. All good. I can't go that way. I oh, yeah, can't go that way. What about this way? Nothing. Give me more ammo. Ooh, melee weapon? Pipe weapon. Nice. Oh, listen. Whoa. 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 My weapon broke. All right, so they break. Something over there. Can we go back to the house? Oh, what's that? I just can't be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Detect. Uh, I guess I'll just hold on to it. I 
I'm just gonna be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. I mean, do is there items here? Oh, there it is. It just throws it automatically. You gotta hold it. Really gotta hold it. Hell is that thing, man? Whoa! Nasty freaking worms. I can definitely see why they say, Yeah, it's gonna be pretty scarce with ammo. I can't go that way. I'm gonna assume there's probably a trophy if you sound the alarm on all those. Those bullets. Hmm. What is this? Witchcraft going on around here? Oh, ah! Take that. Take that, sucker. Oh, shit, it's coming. Oh man! Whoa. Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Nice. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the number looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from 
antiquity. The polished back sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives an impression of hiding a picture within itself. I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Hmm. Yeah, figure that out. I interact with that. Out. Over here. Three five eight. Three five eight. Let's see. Three five eight. Haru's Disc three five eight. side let's see the numbers outside. 
Alright. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the secrets and dream, memory of Gordon Stern, or three, five, eight. Numbers needed to span a bridge between the shapes and dream, patterns. How I want to be, it's a star, three, five, eight. Big one is three. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Supposed to be in this bottom? That's a alright. There's that three. Showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. Uh oh. Can I get that again? I wanna study it furthermore. Detective. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. 
Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to DeSetto, Detective. DeSetto. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Well, why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, Detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the toughness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Kind of trippy how looking forward. We to went it. to that other world, Safe I returns. guess, or where the monsters were. Chapter two, and now we're like back to regular. Detective Carnby. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No. It's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something... You can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Doesn't believe in him. Doesn't believe in the spookiness. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something else. With his talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Taroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. You gotta go take care of some shit. Some shit you ain't gonna believe. Find His a, talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. Place. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Even Teruea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Nice. Repairing the boiler. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Be careful. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting. Room key number six. All right. Take that. 
Fiction Files. Cassandra Beauregard. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Hmm. Find a combination of that somewhere. Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. For those plates, I need the key. All right, you know, we don't got no key for that. <clears throat> we do have the key for the library, though. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small... Literally the same words. How can I get that? Just break it, man. Take it. It's wedged shut. We need to get something to be able to open those doors. Gamer with Everything the sub normal again? Yeah, yeah. All right. What are there? Well, the there's a puzzle in the boil room, kitchen garden. Cutters here. Got it. Nice water hose. Put that up there. Now we can go up and down. All right, map. 
So we have a puzzle in the boiler room. Kitchen garden, that's where we're at, which we just did, so that's done. Oh, we have a room, another room key. Room key six, does it actually say? a couple of closed rooms losing myself up here his watch <sighs> I think this is just gonna be heading back Mr. Waits, I... Stain. Looks like some kind of rock. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Wooden wine. Oh, he said it, there was one in the cellar. So we need to get in here. I need the key. The water? Where does that water hose go to? Sorry, I didn't. You. Uh, hey, was he a knife at No way in my kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick didn't mean you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Should have put her down right there, man. She locked it. Combi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to was find him well searching the through the kitchen the and had run him out of the room. There was something strange going on with her, but it didn't feel connected to the case, so he decided to stay out of her way. Hmm. Lady 
is sketchy, man. All right, we need to go back up. What's the freaking the hose for? That's my question. No interrupting her cooking. She must be really passionate, huh? Waving a damn knife at us. Clear that. We can't get up there. Explored but not done. The small parlor, Lottie's room. Where are we? Gone upstairs. Oh. What is this? This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Right. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Hmm. I need the key. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. She lost she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective. I'll scratch yours. <clears throat> Closed. Looks like everything's back to normal here. here nothing fountain pin oh so you need to find all these and you unlock the shotgun cabinet Ooh. secret objective forbidden knowledge Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. So we need one more to get the shotgun. Keep an eye out. You gotta keep an eye out. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Oh. So you're gonna find the combination of that somewhere here. What? 
did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended... Paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. Is it combination? The simplest One ten eleven. The awkwardies. W M. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> Is it? Symbols aren't here. <sighs> Figuring out that um thing on the wall, what did that do? Jeremy's heart was room, so the room next. Damn, this door's closing. Are those other marks in there though? M, the Aries. <sighs> like a V.
Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. That's, this has definitely has to do with the puzzle. William Argus Franklin Two <sighs> Franklin Mosig Mosig Him to the Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. <clears throat> Wait, how do we match them to their. We know the names. Two, four, nine. William, Nora, Franklin. William, Franklin, and Nora.
just have one one ten eleven one ten eleven one ten One, ten, eleven. Please, uh, does it go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's not those <clears throat> those symbols for sure. Then one ten one two three four five six seven eight. There is no ten though. That M, <clears throat> that M is not even there either. Let's check. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> that was the luckiest freaking guess right there ever. Wow. I will take it. Oh, these big bugs. Oh. Peace. I need the key. We need the damn key. Let's get the well in the kitchen garden. Repair the decorative plate on the boiler. <clears throat> the well, when you go to the well in the kitchen garden. That's probably where we gotta take the hose, maybe.
the whale in the kitchen garden. Mm. Mummified cat, damn. Ooh, it's hidden right here. There we go. Ooh, that's another piece right there. The broken plates. All right. It's the last piece for that clock puzzle up there. <sighs> All right, let's go on top. Get this set up. I think I've seen this somewhere. Hmm. Right. It really does not go there. something yeah, in the commonplace yeah, book about this. We can't move that middle one for sure.
know for a fact these go these those two will go there. Switch that there. This can You're close. That definitely goes there. and matches with that one. That does not match with that. Those symbols don't match either. There we go. I think the clock. Huh. Holy crap. Is there going to be some clue to this next one? Big, big, medium, small, like right here, big, medium, small, right? So, six, six, the small one's three. Four, six, four, three. 
six four three has to be. So the big one is gonna be six. Six. Four. Three. What do you match the three? It's always the small one that like those those two ones for sure match up. Always his last one. Six, four, three. Small ones, three.
ass thing. This one is at Double check this thing. Still have it. The boiler. Three five eight. Three. Five, eight, thousand plates and sockets. Clear indication on that. Talents bins, man. One, two, six, six, four, six, four, six, four, three. Six, four, three, the last one's three. S six, four. Don't know. Talisman, man. Six, four, six, 
six four. Ha, dang it. I know I get that part right for sure. Six, four, three. Six, four. just don't know you can think man where is the <clears throat> talisman plates and sockets There's three numbers. Did that. We lost the, we don't have that other thing no more. Six, four, three in a small one. Six, four. Hmm. I saw I wanted to study that last one we did so I can see how we did it. Is this damn small one then?
see. There's like some Doctor Strange puzzle. Yeah, that shit is weird, man. Dude. <clears throat> that has to go like that. Question is that side. <clears throat> freaking talisman, man. I just want to know the exact freaking order they go. Let's see what's cracking with this. I just want to know like the order they're supposed to go.
That one was 358. Exactly. Because this one is, was 358. You know. What is. Six four three. This has to be it. Side here. There it is, man. Sheesh. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. That way. See, I would want to go back and look at it exactly. <laughs> Those talisman puzzles, man. I already tell you, I, I do not like them. I don't like them one bit. Not one bit of. Whoa, hey! Hey! Oh, crap. Put your hands up. made it I entered another one of Jeremy's memories look for Jeremy inside the hateful mound beyond the oil rig Ugh. Good day. Oil rig report. May 1923. Monday. 1923. Oh, there. I need the key. Of course, we need the key. Of course, we need a damn key. Take 
that. Oh. On there. Ooh, key. The jetty key. See those things over there? Damn, a couple of them too. Tapping that and I get a million pipes? Is that what it is? <laughs> Mario, welcome to the stream, man. What's cracking? I'm doing good, chilling. How about you? Whoa! Hatch it instead. something to break it. Shovel. 
I'll take a shovel. Yo, appreciate the sub, Mario. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. crates here all right I think we're good here or anything like that huh. oh really why wouldn't they do that man right if i keep finding ammo let me collect that ammo don't don't limit me Gazing statuette. What's everything here? Back. Go back and get that ammo. No. One.
on that damn corner. Tough cloth. We're gonna have to use that. Yeah, come on, Carnby. When you rather fall to your death. Go. Geronimo! Can't lose the hat. Can't lose the hat. little swamp area Excuse me. Better go, better go, better go. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. going on over here <clears throat> oh don't come any closer I'm armed get that thing out of my face who are you what are you doing here I'm just a detective trying what to find something over called here? Tarawea you're after Jeremy too why I'm working for his niece she wants to make sure he's alright he might be unharmed but far from alright He's a curse upon DeSeto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. Oh, crap. Whoa. That was 
was happening here? How are we like oh, jumping Christ from in inside heaven. and out? That's my question. Gotta get that shotgun, man. Nice. Intended for pinion, but a thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. But it's thin. Oh, we can use it for those doors. Nice. Noise. Reflections on the power of the. Sitting room key. Okay. It was a bust. The oil. It was a bust. Hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Conde was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick. But somehow, Combi managed to find his way back to DeSetto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now, he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. With the boiler. Alright, so we have... There's two doors that we can it's go open. Shot. Oh, like this one right here. It worked. Barlow Lens Instructions. The Barlow Lens Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. <clears throat> this is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Thank you. Another key. Oh, the cellar. There it is. There it is. We got it. And we needed that. What else do we have here? Nice dog collar. Ooh, this is what we need to get the shotgun. Yes, we can get the shotgun now. What's this? All right. Progress, baby. I don't think I have everything I need. All right. We need to have all the items for that. Let's get this shotgun. Let's go. Now we're talking. Shotgun. How do we, um, All right, I know there's another room that's Was locked. Huh? Whoa! Oh crap! Oh, oh dude! Oh, right move! All right, man. I like getting stuck in every freaking little corner here. All the way upstairs here. Oh, it's wedged shut. There we go. It worked. Is that a 
shortcut? Oh yeah, it is. Here we go. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Appreciate the likes Did on the, the stream, y'all. Just collapse. Six likes. I heard it was it. something in the attic, something that was supposed to happen but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think dark he is man. hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. Dun, dun. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening still harmonious. I, uh... Hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Take it then. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. <laughs> I so enjoy awkward. watching professionals at work. Well, I better get going. Bye now, detective. Don't take any wooden nipples. Got a little bit of an awkward dialogue there, huh? A being a. Shortcut unlocked. Now we can go to the boiling party. Guess no. Syringe as done. 
a Great Depression, as the world moved into a new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. <clears throat> it was a fitting name for poverty, also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, not no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on this threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been in him. As the world... More than on the commonplace of evil. On the commonplace of evil. Aggressive rot. There we go. The shortcut unlocked. Medicine box key, there it is. Did you go this way? Oh, yeah, I think so. Should be in this room. One of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throats and contain two vital vitamins. Okay. So. We'll just keep that. All right. So we have the sitting room key and the cellar key. Sitting room key. Room. Sitting room key. Let's see, where is that at? A drawing room. Mark's office, treatment room, reception. Sitting room wise, see it's on top. Still don't have this one, huh? Didn't did it didn't 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 Something missing. The hell? This must be that kid's room. A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. For a feast, huh? I want a feast. Why does she seem so familiar?
I see a lock over there. somewhere I remember you mr. Conby from where don't touch that Cassandra wouldn't like it she wouldn't like it at all do you know where she is I'd rather not talk about it it makes me upset besides she'll be back after the feast of st. John you think the feast yep it's all on the page, about a mr. Beast. Conby and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Well, okay. <clears throat> your medicine. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Wayne. So this is... Another one? Where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. We got two of them. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. There's more of that rot again. Like it's guiding me to do yeah. something. Can we, uh, can. Uh. This one either has to be. Made the shape of a snake. There must be something to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. It's another one of those strange padlocks. The one we just freaking got so lucky on the last one. Seven. Hmm. There's not anything else that we can see in here, right? something to do with the numbers on the five pounds seven
one, two, three, four, five, six. Six numbers. she could repeat what he said five down seven I can because if you don't if you didn't pay attention all that good you just fudged with the sub appreciate it yeah yo symbols on these things like what's <clears throat> what was it it says about numbers ointment seven acting ingredients seven as you can see a two five ounce two five one seven i don't know how i feel about these puzzles man Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Let's try this out. <clears throat> so, two as a two, two ones, 
to 1-7? So we'll go here. Is that... Is that one here? Is it that one? Two. That symbol's not here, though. So. Five, seven. plates is that gonna be for the boiler <clears throat> get your in when you fix this damn door get out of my way statues for I bust a cap on your ass you know what I'm saying I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Who's that? All right, all right, all right. We're going the wrong way. Go back over here. I have to get out. What's over here? I need the key. You need the key, not the cheese. All right, let's go back down there and get that damn thing for the boiler. Switch key item. An electrical circuit breaker belonging to a fuse box. Whoa. Whoa! I see. It worked. It worked! There we go. House here. <sighs> Take that. Oh, crap. Ugh, damn. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some... We got that. Jeremy? You good, my boy? <gasps> what the hell is going on? 
What the hell? That's nasty. Whoa. Where's the body? There's gonna be the other piece. gonna be another freaking talisman man all right another puzzle here mm, should get started Let's see the pieces that we got here Another piece of this barn. Where's the other? That looks about right. has to be like in the middle here the sun shining down Missing like a little piece. Let's see, where is that? Uh, of the
can go on top in here. Definitely has to go there. That definitely goes there. This. the other piece of the house no, it does not go there. piece of the top barn there where is it Does have this? This for sure goes here. That's a fact. Question is, oh, that goes there for sure. there this this go here it looks like it goes there
has to go there. It's these, um, have the whole thing here is, is the sky that we're not getting right here There we go. Whoa. Now I'm to this damn this thing. <laughs> oh, I hate this freaking talisman. What is this? Hmm. Oh, of course. The big one is nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There it is. Boom! That one didn't take long. Woo! Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. Was that back down over here? Okay, cool. Thanks for opening the door for me. I think we're going back down. down this way I knew it oh. I knew it would work you're getting good at this Carnby I know too good at this hmm. a little too good at this with the shotgun shells there huh Family crypt. 
Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Nothing here? something missing the blessing key item what's this you here <sighs> got it bada -bing, bada -boom. a sledgehammer una una <laughs> You want to be my first victim? Come and get some. Boom! Knocked out. Some over there. Take that. Gimme, gimme. Reload, 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 reload. Damn, just like that, our ammo goes. Let's see what the shotgun can do. Take that. Take a drink. Who is that? A Molotov? I hate that. I hate, I, I don't like that. You can't carry them with you. That's annoying. Like, let me put one in my inventory and be able to carry some.
is that? you go. Come get me. Hoping he die. Gotta get that trophy. The omen. Dude, why can I not grab you? Trophy. <sighs> All right. Let me compose myself here. What are we doing? Crucifix weapon? <laughs> this guy over here just creeping. About to hit him with this crucifix. The power of Christ compels you. 
God, where do we put it though? We got a map here. No, we don't. What we got to do objective look for Jimmy inside the chapel. Oh, damn. One more down over here. That goes there for damn sure. Bam! I'm too good. <gasps> you guys already got here? Ooh, very spooky down here. Sacrifice. Snake. Now what do we got here? You brought me some protein to grub on, huh? <gasps> Back up. Thank God that's over. 
kind of wish we spent a little bit more time down there. That was pretty spooky, and I like the environment. We got in, we got out. <laughs> What do we got here? Uh oh. You dead? This doesn't look good. You dead up in there? The. Alright. How the hell can we get in? There's a way over here. That's where he came from. Did I miss something over here? Hmm. I think we already, oh, I, I think over there. Take this back over here. Huh. All right, let's figure this one out. That fits perfectly, shit. Was this not it? Boom! Open up, sucker. Get up and stretch. Please don't touch her. Jeremy, what are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know, it, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. Oh, keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some. The dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. Him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. You act as cuckoo. Nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? 
Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay, sounds like we're on to something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Whoa! Run! Don't let him take you! Thanks for knocking me out, man. It's so weird how, like, we, tr we go from, like, place to place just like that. My everything clue. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I... Cool. The luggage key. Unlock Jeremy's steamer trunk. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Where, um, so we have the luggage key. Perusi's body looked unharmed. Right, we need to go to the map, the luggage key. Jeremy's heart, oh, we need to go to his room. Barlow lens. A telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? Use a telescope in the drawing room to look for answers. Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. All right, let's go to their room. Should be somewhere here. Did we make a wrong turn. I'm not gonna walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. I need the key. Should have been. Drawing room is a drawing room, drawing room. I don't see no more sets. Sitting room. Dining room, library, drawing room. Oh, I see it. Damn, we're not even close to it.
dining room. What the hell? Go, 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 go. Should be here. Find the talisman, find find the talisman coordinates for. Right. Can we uh? Can I flip these? No, just move them, huh? Nine four one. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? The dining room? Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terrawea? All right, so we gotta go over to the dining room, drawing room, dining room is going down over there. Something here or oh. Chapter Three I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. 
I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? Trippy story. I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect oh. equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. <clears throat> he can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Kill him! Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Just perfect. Somewhere else entirely. Look for answers inside the great blah blah blah. Conby felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawaya. It was somehow uncomfortable it's be a to him. Perfect Juan, the sweater chance for me to Buddha, wasn't helping either. Make a quick restroom According break. To Conby, I'll be right back, guys. Just Give me meant to one be minute. This nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man.
It feels good to get up and stretch. That was well needed. Let's continue, shall we? Where's my battery at? It's already getting pretty low here, so. Let's get my charger. Love my DualSense Edge controller, but Sony, man, you guys, you blew it. When it came to the battery, you blew it. So from what I know, this game has total of five chapters and we are on chapter three. We just got to chapter three. So I think we're going to push and finish chapter three and reach chapter four. And then most likely tomorrow, pretty much finish the game. Finish chapter four and chapter five. <clears throat> and that'll probably be a wrap. It'll be a done deal. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. Try to put this more to more lumbar support. I know you said Jeremy's never been here. But does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. Juan. May the gods be with you, Edward de Bilbano. We'll go over there. Is there anything over here? Nope. Take a breather. We're going down. Ugh. There's something missing. Hmm. Just go find it. Library. The great library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. 
an Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood, now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar. There's... Little secret spot here. Okay. Unmasked evil. Nice. Beast of burden. Bull worship is common throughout history. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Uh oh.
hell's that all about? around here guess not it was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds he was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. They Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no hope. Almost made us almost made us kill ourselves, man. The hell's your problem? I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carby, think. Think! Right. Good luck, detective. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey, Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon, Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. I ain't gonna pass up a drink. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise. Can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bon chance. The hell? Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. These tricks. All right. We're at New Orleans. Another one done. 
New Orleans lies southwest of their seto. Look for the address to the Dark Man's show inside. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. I just saw one of these suckers around here. Two combo. Ooh, machine gun cartridge. So we should be able to get a machine gun somewhere around here. A Tommy gun? Tommy gun. We gotta take a look at all these spots. Whoa. There must be another way inside. New Orleans Docks, period 11. Myself, man. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. But if I get that crane going, that should do it. We need the key. Of course we need a key. Just, just right, don't touch it and leave it in the micro.
Dun, 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 dun. I'll get it in a beat. You're dead and you're done. Shotgun. Ooh. One under. That, hell yeah. Damn it. I wasted a bullet on you, man. Inside the warehouse. The office must be upstairs. Need some more ammo. Okay. Mind if I do. Anything else? Okay. 
that ammo, give me that ammo. Fire poker. Tommy gun. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Hell yeah. A Tommy gun. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What? is left. Later is right. And hell is back again. Our ship was raided while in the doll. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were recovered into the Mississippi River and drawn by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now, best keep the paper safe. Yeah, but what is what's the combination itself? I don't know. Somehow, Combi was back in New Orleans. Right, we're done with this room. Jump off or... Missing something here? Look for the address to the dogman's show inside shipping company.
Look for the address of the dark man's show inside Craig's shipping company. Unless I needed to uh, crack that safe. This way. Did we look at everything here? We map it. something with my missing it's locked from the other side That's where I was inside, huh? I don't know where to go. Damn. There's nothing over here. I look thoroughly in there and I 
I know it says to the, to the left, right, left, but what are the numbers is the thing. That's what I didn't get. Just go, just go, just go. operational I'm assuming we do have to crack that case Ship was raided while in dock. All of his. There's something there. Be done. I'm going to be done. Done. If 
fight for order. It's one, two, four. Should be it. Actually, you know what? I'm missing up. Four, five. There it is. There it is. Cargo manifest. Gotta go manifest on. September 19th, 1892. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. Let's get the hell out of here then. Can we open that door now? <laughs> Shit! God. Where you at, dog? Where you at, dog? Looks like the fog cleared up. How convenient, huh? It goes up, it goes up. Here we are. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. We got some now, the Egyptian hotel, stuff going around the here. The Black Pharaoh. The ancient magician who lived a thousand lives. The Black Pharaoh. Oh, a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. You would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are.
We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Men. <clears throat> no, can't. We were tied on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Whoa. God damn it, Jeremy. You dick. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. And David Harbour's all chill about it. Damn, are we going to go to a... Uh... Like an Egyptian type of level. How do you save someone Sick. who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Okay. Whoa. Crap. How the hell? here I don't know these symbols wait That's one, two, three, four, five. That's five. The middle one is like an MR. Is it that one? Eight. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure if the uh, the outside one has to be the big one, right? Then that one's the middle one. Damn you. Two. Two, five. <clears throat> two, five, six, seven, eight. Two, five. Two, five, eight. I think. Is there it is. I'm smart. Hmm. Still locked. Oh, there it is. Okay, open the door for me. Way we're actually gonna be like in a pyramid or something. <clears throat> Let me 
is so freaking sick. Nice. We're in Egypt. Hmm. This way. Ugh. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Gonna it and it there. A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. How the hell did we get down there? Is this way? Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts that are Cool, got the rope. Got everything we need. Tie this here or or here. Here we go. Here it is. the old temple mechanisms to reveal the contract I got a feeling that this is it this is where the contract is hidden but how do I get to it Attacking us?
the horizon. Do that. Hmm. This one looks operational. Back here, or huh. whoa, the hell off me. To that later. Follow me, or die. Exactly. Freaking snake. Alright, there's top one. Very Indiana Jonesy. that other where's that one we need to put it on should be this one
Hmm. One. Top one? No. Suckers. Suckers. Go down. Round, round. Mm. Oh my god. Really? Fucking trap right there. That across over here, I bet. Go. One, really? Should be that that last one for that other side. It should be a done deal. Of course, man. This side. It's not gonna be the side I wanna be at. This way. Huh. Oh, now we go to the top one. There it is. I think I have to face all of them. Yeah, I think I do. Damn it. Top one, straight ahead. Damn. Damn. Right. Yeah, the 
exit. We got it right. Do we have to? Oh yeah, we have to shoot it down here. Damn it! Getting ahead of yourself, there, buddy. Dagger? Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. The contract. Huh? Mansion. No. <laughs> okay. We're out of there. Chapter four. There it is. We're almost done with the game, guys. This one and hey. another one, and that's a wrap. Hey, detective. <gasps> What are you there doing? she is, damn, all oh, game. I, found some. I guess you really only play as one of them for the whole game. God, no, I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. That's the I'm pretty weird sure thing two about of the it. It's like the other partner is very. Oh, yeah. Not on to what's actually going on. They're well, just like in their own world. Just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm going to break it. I just have. Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Oh. Oh. I worry, Detective. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. At least you're a good distraction. Hmm. Trust me, you're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. Damn, I mean, 150 bucks must have been a, a lot at the time.
the Dark Man's contract. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self deceit, temper, manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the heart. Medicine is. Bring it to Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. And save it right there. Bam. All right, guys. That is where we are going to end off part one for Alone in the Dark. Yeah, we're pretty much almost done. Like I said, I think there's only five chapters total. We just landed at chapter four. So this one and another one. So we'll definitely finish it tomorrow. I guess it is pretty true. I saw some of the reviews saying that the game is somewhat short, but I'm very interested in seeing how the game would be if I play as the other the other um character to see if we're actually going through the same things it's just her or does she actually have her own like levels and all that stuff because from his perspective she's just like normal like just going through the house nothing's going on she's not seeing any of this like paranormal stuff and she just thinks he's kind of like losing it so i would want to see like her perspective if that adds more to the game more different levels and just see her side of the story so i'm very interested in seeing when we finish it but i'm also going to do that like on my own time but quick thoughts on the game i'm really enjoying it i think the gameplay is fun the game looks good the only thing that i will say is i feel like the combat could have been a little bit better it's not as fully fledged as like i don't really want to compare it to like resident evil because that's like a totally different game but I feel like the combat could have been a little bit more smoother. It's still cool here, but I think if it was actually a lot more smoother, the game would have been like really, really, really good. I see why some of the reviews were saying like the game is good, but it had more potential. So I see that now. But overall, I think the game is still good. It's fun. I would definitely recommend it. It looks good. Pretty cool level designs. And yeah, so we'll see how it ends tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys. Hit that like button if you guys watch this later on on the VOD. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow so we can finish this up. And depending on how long it takes to finish it, we'll probably jump into like Hell Divers. We'll see how long it takes us to actually beat the game. Or we'll probably just start all over and choose her side and just give like give like an hour and see how her gameplay is. But yeah, catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for stopping by. And till later. Thank you.